Hello, and welcome back to my mini manga mentions, where I'll be giving a mini review and recommendation of different manga that I love. Now, it's a bit of a folly of mine to not keep up with anime, and when I was looking at what animes have recently been released in the winter 2023 season, I found a bunch of light novels and manga that are being turned into animes that I absolutely love. So that means I have a bunch of stuff to watch. But that also means I have a bunch of stuff to review, so that you guys can watch them. And that comes to this week's mini manga mention, which is saving 80,000 gold coins in another world for my retirement. Or, Rogo ni Sonete, Isekai de Hachimamai no Kinga o Tomemas, by Funa. This is yet another one of the amazing works originally published on the Shotetsuka ni Naro. And there are currently 7 Japanese light novels, 10 Japanese manga volumes, and the anime, like I said, being released this season, winter 2023. There are English releases of both manga and light novel, but there have actually been licensing issues, uh, so I won't really discuss them now, because I don't really know what's going on. I'll also only be touching on the manga, even though there is a light novel, because I haven't actually read the novel, surprisingly. Also, as always, this will be a spoiler for your review. The premise is, after losing her family in an accident, Mitsuha is left alone with a lot of financial problems. However, she gains a new ability and comes up with a plan. Thanks to a mysterious entity, she's now able to jump between her world and another and her wealth management strategy is taking off. So her roadmap to retirement is simple and effective, which is to save money in both worlds. This is definitely a slice of life manga, as it really dips into action elements, but because of the premise, it really feels like a city builder in some parts, which is a bit of a weird thing to say, but it, it, it's true if you actually read it. Now there are some similarities between this and my recent review of Campfire Cooking in Another World. However, Mitsuha has the unique stipulation of being able to go between worlds. It's much more proactive in using her abilities for financial gain, which is obviously she wants all that money. Uh, hence why this feels like a city builder. There are a few more reasons I could add on to that, but this is a spoiler for your review so you can figure that out on your own. And there are also a few more commercial focused manga I could name that are similar to this, but the city builder aspects really separate it from those, and once again, I'm not going to touch, touch on that because it's a lot of spoilers, but you'll see what I mean if you read it. Now, a detriment to this manga, and I'm starting off with off a detriment so I can get to the good stuff, is really the characters. They, they really feel like a non-factor, where really only Mitsuha matters. And there are a few secondary characters that stick out, but the narration of the manga really tends to push them aside and focus on Mitsuha. At the very least, however, they really aren't bad or intrusive. The world also feels a bit small considering Mitsuha's ability, but luckily the manga portrays this in a way that shows potential and that there's room for expansion They can go to different places. I also give it this, for the single, single simple premise of getting money, the story is actually somewhat interesting and surprisingly often subverts ex expectations. It's also really funny, and Mita is, herself is really funny and cute, so you, you can't hark it too much because cute girl, but you know, it, 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 it could do a little bit better. Now, while I do love this manga, this is one of the ones that made me fall in love with the Sky manga in general a long time ago, I'm only going to give it a 7 out of 10. Like I said, the, the characters in the world leave a bit to be desired, and they're, they are saved by the interesting story and the comedy, and the cute art as well, I mean, you can see by what's going on right next to me. However, that's really all I have to say about the manga. If, if you want to check it out, I, I advise you to read it. There's also the anime that's coming on, so of course no spoilers, but that was all for today's MMM, and I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.